Hi everyone, all the time now see. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to make such uh, uh, realistic uh, muzzle flashes, such pro pro effects, uh, pro super pooper uh, mega. I like such these store names. Uh, muzzle flash, flash. <coughs> flashes. Okay. First, you need to download Embergen. It's a paid program, but you can try it for free for two weeks. After opening the program, you can go to the presets and open maybe Muzzle Flash 2. Then go to the camera settings and set rows to rows and flipbook size two times smaller. Because eight frames will be enough for such animation and uh, I can you can put uh, two animation in one texture so you you also need to reduce a number of frames and uh, go to simulation and set the upscaling uh, to and now our fire will, will be much better then go to the render tab and uh, choose uh, directory and uh, press export as you see there is no uh, the first frame so we can uh, set the first uh, frame to one uh, the same okay set it uh, to and now is good but if you go to the directory you will see an empty texture uh, so you need to go to the shading and uh, increase flame opacity from uh, 0 to 100 then press export again uh, and uh, yeah we have a nice uh, muzzle flash but uh, uh, change uh, render all to, to the render viewport now will be better better, better colors Import this texture to Unity and uh, set uh, alpha is transparency and uh, size uh, 1000. And you can also change uh, web mode to clamp and uh, create a new material for this texture. It uh, must be particles, standard uh, unlit, then uh, change opacity uh, to fade, uh, select your texture and uh, set. Uh, color uh, plus one or maybe okay plus plus, plus one and uh, create a new particle system by the way i use a bloom effect uh, boom post-processing effect uh, on my scene to make uh, this effect go if you don't use bloom you need to make such effect using uh, uh, outer glow in photoshop Uh, go to the render, select uh, this material, set maximum particle size to maybe 32, select uh, stretch at the billboard and uh, set uh, freedom stretching. Then uh, go to the shape, uh, set angle to 0, radius 0, uh, texture sheet animation from 4 to 2. Uh, set the uh, emission from rate over time to boost one particle with speed uh, 0, 0, 0.1 uh, then uh, change pivot position to 0 0.5 okay uh, then uh, change duration to one lifetime maybe 0 0.1 wow such a good model flash and uh, set the uh, size maybe random from 0 0.24 to 0 0.35 wow so good and uh, set a color Su such uh, yellow color mm. yeah this color is better 
uh, then uh, you can you can you can increase uh, lands in the render tab. Okay, that's better. And uh, you can copy this component, uh, select, uh, change, uh, boost uh, to five particles, uh, set uh, angle to to to, ma to maximum, and uh, uh, arc mode uh, boost spread. Then you can make uh, it uh, shorter um, maybe uh, make a random lifetime from 0 0.08 to 11 oh. maybe even shorter one for example and maybe a smaller size mm. you can also add some sparks just copy this component ctrl d uh, go to the emission set uh, for example count from uh, 2 uh, 2 and 4 uh, then go to the shape tab set angle for example set it to 4 and uh, rotate uh, 180 degrees uh, set the speed from uh, uh, 8 to 20 uh, size maybe from 0 0.02 0 0.04 and uh, Length uh, set uh, scale to 0 0.02. Uh, you can also change uh, freedom stretching to simple stretching, and uh, mm, you can also do the same for side muzzle flashes. Uh, and uh, set frame frame over lifetime to such curve. Ah, and uh, change pivot to zero. And uh, now you can see how it will be with uh, multiple shooting. Set duration to zero point one. And uh, now you can see a result. You can even make uh, the main flash longer using uh, lens scale. Mm. No. Looks good. Maybe even make uh, angle for sparks smaller. And uh, now we get uh, such a good uh, muzzle flash effect. So thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next videos, goodbye.